Alongside Jay Crawford, I'm Christy Paul. We want to begin with you tonight with the situation in Portage County right now. Uh, just hours ago, in fact, the National Weather Service confirmed an EF1 tornado did touch down last night. Take a look at the damage. This is in Wyndham Township. Thankfully, no one was injured, but this is just the latest tornado. At least four others have been confirmed in the state from this round of storms. And now, how about this? Ohio leads the country with more than 40 tornadoes touching down so far this year. Tonight, we have team coverage from Lindsay Buckingham with what she's seeing on the ground. First, Chief Meteorologist Betsy Kling is live at a house that actually slid off its foundation. I should point out she's in one of the hardest hit areas in Wyndham, uh, which is in eastern Portage County there. So, Betsy, talk to us about what you're seeing. Well, obviously, there's a lot of damage that was done out here. And just to clarify a statement that Jay made about the tornado count for the state of Ohio, that is the preliminary tornado count, the 40-plus. We have 33 at least confirmed for the state of Ohio. And keep in mind, the state average is 19 per year, and we have had at least 33 already this year. So it's obviously historic. This is the damage that can be done by an EF-1. A pontoon boat is relatively light, and it's also got a lot of of surface area, so it's very easy that that can be lofted by the tornado. But this huge tree that you're seeing, this root ball here, that is like a 25, 30 foot pine tree, very healthy, that was completely ripped out of the ground from the other side of the yard, thrown over, and then you can kind of get an idea of the path that the tornado took off to the northeast. So this tornado touched down southwest of where I'm standing and lifted up northeast of where I'm standing. This was one of two confirmed tornadoes here in northern Ohio that we are talking about today. The other was earlier in the afternoon yesterday in Bucyrus. That's in Crawford County. It's uh, west of Mansfield, and that storm produced that EF1 damage there, did a lot of damage in downtown Bucyrus, which is a beautiful little place. Up here in Portage County, we have a snapshot of last night's radar data. That is the velocity data that I was showing on the air. We were talking about Wyndham and saying this is where where we have problems and you can see there's that yellow uh, line that goes through it. I have not seen that on radar before and I think what ended up happening there is that there was a big piece of debris that was lofted into the atmosphere and it kind of just jacked up that uh, radar picture a little bit and then just moments later you see the next uh, radar scan and you can definitely see that bright area where we have that tornado that touched down and that was right as it was coming through here in Wyndham Township. Just down track from me uh, here in Wyndham Township, there was a lot of damage done at Crestview and Parkman as well. So many people have been impacted by this tornado. Whether their homes and their property has been damaged or not, there are a lot of scared folks here last night who just could not believe how quickly it all happened. Our Lindsay Buckingham has been out here today talking to some of the folks. This is what neighbors are dealing with today near Crestview and Parkman Roads in Wyndham. Roofs, torn off homes, emptied barns, and scattered debris everywhere after an F1 tornado ripped through Portage County Tuesday night. Emergency crews have been here around the clock. Dealing with power lines and fallen trees. Wyndham Fire Lieutenant Eric Matthews says his department has been working with state and local officials to give residents what they need. Um, we have a very large group of multi-agencies throughout the state that we've been working with and meeting constantly, and we're all communicating together, cell phones, radios, so wherever someone's needed, we're there for them. That's comforting to family members like Carrie Gonzald. Her brother's home took a hit yesterday. Um, just some siding, some windows, you know, minor things that can be repaired. Um, they were very fortunate. We, we've been back here cutting trees up. Uh, trying to clean up as much as what we possibly can right now. The damage is absolutely devastating. So I'm going to step out of the way for a second to show you one of the homes here. The roof has completely blown off. The siding has fallen. We're told by one fire lieutenant that the house shifted a bit off of its foundation. So right now you're getting a good look at all the work that's being done, the cleanup efforts. The power company is out here. They do have ambulance as well. The damage actually we are told by fire officials that stretches about three miles. So it's a three mile radius and the estimate is in the hundreds of thousands of dollars. In Wyndham, Lindsay Buckingham, 3 News.
First, we have a graphic first. All right, so obviously when severe weather is around, we urge you to please have multiple ways to get weather information. Whether you're at home or on the go, you can always rely on the WKYC app. We have live streaming weather coverage when the weather gets nasty. And you, of course, can get our app just by scanning that QR code that is on the screen. Uh, I know things can happen in an instant. It's one of those things that you can download it and keep it on your phone. You can open it when you need it or you can open it when you want to. Uh, that's totally up to you. But it's really important to have multiple ways to get that information. And this is an exact reason why. This would happen to be the transformer for this house. Now, that's a problem because as soon as this transformer was blown off the pole, that means the house had no power. So they had no television. They had no Wi-Fi. So it's really important that you have those multiple ways to get information. Meanwhile, farther down here, you could see this incredible truck. I mean, this is a pickup truck that was just totally blown. And Jay and Christy, these trees, this, this tree I'm talking about, this pine tree is like 25 feet tall. It's not a new tree. It's like 20 plus years old. And it's got about a 15 to 18 inch trunk. It was picked up out of the ground and tossed. Just incredible. And this is 110 mile per hour winds, EF1 strength. You can only imagine when we start to kick it up into two, three, four, and God forbid five, that the damage just goes exponentially higher. It really does drive home the power of those winds, Betsy, because first of all, the trucks aren't light, and to pull that 25 foot tree out of the ground like that, very powerful stuff.